I can report to you that this is earlier. That's nice that you, that Virgil can report to you. Yeah. While the plan is by I do have a bit of good news. The kid did it. He completed the defense support program. The core had some theories about it, but it was too complex and they gave up on implementing it. With this We'll be able to take units the core prepared and send them in around the trap. Should come in handy for the battle. That is fantastic. That's not a proverb either. Captain. Hey, uh, um, I'm, uh, I'm gonna be in charge of the character design and overall okay. plot for the Metal Gear Survive game. I want you to know what you think about this pitch. We're gonna have the uh, big sort of overarching narrator of the piece be an AI that has two personalities. I think for plot reasons, not 100% sure. I'm sort of making it up as I go. Uh, is this all making sense so far? Uh, sure, why not? Okay. Uh, and here's the thing, they're both going to be done in a deadpan, monotone sort of voice, and nobody is going to like it. And they're going to try and be charming sometimes, but mostly just be annoying, so... Uh, that's my pitch, and I think that it's really going to fit into the ethos of the project that we have here. Well... You're you're now president of the company. Oh, oh, thanks. <laughs> However. <laughs> Certain uh, weapons and defensive units have elements. That's However, all. creatures won't discover you even with. <laughs> oh no! Okay, let's move on to final preparations. Craft the arcade blade trap. That's a trap! Oh no! Oh no! I need more Kuban! I actually need more Kuban. Oh, like from the Saturday Night Live skit. I... Not that one. I got a fever. Oh. And the only prescription is more Kuban. That's to hey, you have a quest one. you could turn in. That's true. Would that give you Kuban? I don't think so. No, it just gives you boxes. Mm. Which is, uh, very useful. Not gonna be the coupon. No. Nice. Hydration. Nice tration. Pay attention to your stamina. Pay attention to your stamina. Are you doing alright? Do you, do you need to get some rest there, uh, Virgil? I'm worried about you. Whoa! A friend! That's what we do with friends. Mm.
need 30,000 more. There is a inactive teleporter over there. That should get us a decent chunk. But it can't be close to anywhere. Of course not. That's not how teleporters work. That's illegal. Good uh, BGM for the for the end game. Yeah, they suddenly remembered. Hey, video games! Don't they sometimes have music? <laughs> what I really like, and what I think they've done a really good job about that has to be acknowledged is that when you're heading into the final boss confrontation, I have to be, assume this is close to final boss yes. time. What if we make it so you have to go out and gather more of the game resource? <laughs> and then make that an integral part of the second to last mission. Who is this game for? Hey, the, the total of those two was nice times a hundred. That was pretty good. That is pretty nice. I mean I don't I don't know if the multiplayer is good. I I did do the beta. Mm -hmm. But It is pretty much that, yeah. And that was fine, but It feels like they were told, all right, y'all, we've got the Metal Gear name. We have to make some sort of game. <laughs> and this is what came of that. Yeah. Matt Mercer, we need your help. We don't know what we're doing. And Matt Mercer did all that Matt Mercer can do, but... Matt Mercer can only do so much. That's true. All right, here we go. We want 30,000. Big money, big money, big money. Let's go. What's that? That's never happened before. What is this? A uh, speedrun at a marathon? <laughs> I 
that one was for all the GDQ fans in the yeah. audience. Just something to lighten up the mood a bit. Bring a little levity to the proceedings. Easy money. 